And what I want to do with you, the coach, is I want to start taking you through some of the planning processes and hopefully that will get your mind working as to, as to what you can do in your pre-season. It'll be very easy for me and the fellow coaches just to give you a plan and say, here you go, just follow this plan. But I don't think that helps you as a coach long term. It just makes you um, just copy verbatim everything you hear or see. Um, and I think if we go through some of the processes of, of, of how we plan, then that can inspire you to have your own thoughts. So I'm going to take you through it gradually. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start looking at the skill aspects that we need to get into our pre-season. When it starts to plan in any period of coaching really, but for, for now we'll talk about the pre-season, which for, for most people on this side that will be in November. I start to break the game down into a few uh, distinct sections. First of all, uh, looking at skills um, and looking at what the players actually do, the game is, is separated into offence and defence. So they're signified by the O and the D there. So I'll just draw a line right across the across the two. Um, and then separate those things into things that people do on their own. Uh, and I call that uh, core skill because it's individual. So that goes C there. I then go and think about what they do with regards to other people. So it might be the left side, the middle, the right side. Or the six and the seven and the nine. And that's a unit. And then obviously... One of the key things that a good coach has to do is he has to get his team to, or her team together. So we look at the team aspects as well. And obviously when it comes to offence and defence, um, there are a myriad of different things we can add in there. So you make a table like this. We now have a section for core offence, core defence. Sorry about my, my lines. Core, uh, sorry, unit offence, unit defence, team offence, team defence. I'm just going to get a different colour pen. And now we'll start thinking of some of the things that can go in there. So when it comes to your plan, start to think about all the different concepts that go into this grid. So for example, straight off the top of my head, I'm thinking grip, pass, catch, carry. When it comes to a core offensive skill. I'm thinking lines of run. And I'm thinking footwork and agility. They're things that only the individual can control. They're core skills, if you like, or individual skills. In defence, we're talking about tackle technique. I'll just put TT. We're talking about um, uh, defensive retreat. I'll just put D, retreat. And we might also be talking about work off the ball, but that doesn't really fit into, into either of those sections, but we'll be aware of that. When it comes to the unit, We'll be looking at things like the left side, the right side, and the middle. We'll be looking at training the things like 3v2s, um, 4v3, 6v4, uh, or whatever different um, uh, permutations you want to look at there. So anything where the attack is working together, and obviously the one that all coaches get in nice and early is plays. And then defensively, we're looking at uh, uh, it's commonly known as wrestle, but a lot of people uh, steer away from that from that topic. But we'll call it rook control. And again, you have your left side, your middles, and your rights. You might have your A B C defense, your marker work. These are only very quickly some of the things that you can cover. There'll be lots more, and uh, and I encourage you to think about about uh, your game there. Um, Offensively, as a team, obviously we've got our different sets. I split mine into exit exit sets. When it comes to offence, uh, we have uh, middle yardage sets. And we have good ball sets. Defence, you might have a defensive system that defends uh, differently in the opposition 20. In the middle. And on the goal line. So there you see, straight away, we've come up with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 different things um, without even giving it a great amount of thought that, that you can cover in a, in a, in a pre-season. 